Welcome to Western New York at Work. On today's show, we have Irene Gablenick from The Power of Writing and Leslie Taylor from the Buffalo Creative Group. Welcome to Western New York at Work, your business-friendly conversation. I'm your host, Dale Martin, and each and every Saturday, we always have an amazing conversation with individuals that are making a very impact in and on our community. And today we have Irene Gablenick, who is the CEO and founder of The Power of Writing. Irene, welcome to today's show. Hey, Dale. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself this morning? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. I I love that title, The Power of Writing. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I I picked it because um, I I fell in love with the written word and the power of writing. And I'm, I'm a copywriter. So it's really the power of persuasive writing that, that I, I fell in love with so much, but, um, you know, and you use it in everything, every single thing that you do, whether you're recording um, a podcast, whether you're writing a blog post, whether you're writing a book, or even just a social media profile, or even just a, you know, a little post. So yes. everything that you do, especially as a business owner, is you're directing them and leading them to do take some type of action, right? Okay. okay. So it's it's powerful. Absolutely. Uh, so let's talk about the journey because I'm pretty sure there's uh, there's something amazing or something unique about your journey. And so take us back to the beginning. Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> well, um, I was a realtor for nine years. I've actually actually I've been in sales and marketing um, for over 27 years now, I think. And all the way back to my I call my radio days, my Mad Men days, my real life Mad Men days. <laughs> I was a right. I was a marketing consultant at Kiss 98.5, the number one hit music station. I'm very with, familiar with Kiss. Janet in the Pisco. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I worked there for a few years um, selling, you know, radio ads. And that was the first time I ever uh, started writing commercials. And it was a lot of, it was a lot of fun. I was going to say, that had to be pretty exciting, writing commercials. It was was fun. I had a, they were calling me the next bar queen. I had a lot of club accounts because we'd, you know, send our DJs out and fill the house. And, um, but it really was a lot of weekends and evenings, always events and things like that. And I wanted more of a nine to five. So I went into medical sales for a while. Okay. And I was blessed to have the opportunity to be a stay-at-home mom for the first four years of my daughter's life, which was amazing. Um, and then I became a realtor, and I did that for about nine years. Um, I kept my license for a while as I progressed into my writing career. And that was when I founded The Power of Writing. I wrote my first book. Um, which was a weight loss book. And then only two months after I wrote my first book, I became the health and fitness expert on a live radio show. So kind of coming full circle, right? Okay, okay, great. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew it. There would be an amazing story behind the, the behind the, how you created yourself. And, and, and let's talk a little bit about um, writing in and of itself. I've often heard that writing can be, can be soothing. Is, th- is that a correct statement? What are your thoughts? I personally find it therapeutic. Absolutely. I can get lost in writing. And um, I actually even thought about, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, so I'm always, you know, a million ideas a day, right? (laughs) You're the same way, Dale. I know from our conversations. And I actually thought about um, creating a product and writing a book called The The Healing, Healing with Writing, because it can be very therapeutic to go back and relive things, work through them, and, and yeah, and journaling, too. I like to write um, things that I'm grateful for, you know, at least once a day, either think out loud, text a friend, or write 
uh, three things that I'm grateful for. And I just think it's a great way to, to start your day, to just be in a, that state of gratitude. I mean, you have a choice to either focus on the negatives in life or to focus on the things that you're grateful for, even during difficult and challenging times like now, you know, with COVID. So, yeah, uh, yeah, re- absolutely. So uh, when did you write your first book and what was the topic? <laughs> well, my first book is called How to Lose Five Pounds Fast and Look Great in That Little Black Dress. And I wrote it in two weeks. I wrote, published, and sold my first copy in only two weeks. Uh, it was back in two seven, 2017. But now I had a blog. So a lot of the content was written already. And I had researched how to write a book for at least six months. So it's not like at all, you know, <laughs> but it all came together. I decided that year, I remember we were vacationing in Maine on the ocean. And I said, I'm going to write my first book this year. And I committed, you know, so I set a deadline. I thought I would do it on vacation. Well, that didn't happen. You know, we've spent our time on the beach and mini golf and, you know, um, and then I realized it was the end of the year in December. And I'm like, oh my God, I committed. I don't know if I went down looking at my goals, thinking about next year's goals. And I'm like, wow, I'm doing this. And I did it. And I got it just under the wire on December 30th. Um, I was self-published on Amazon. And uh, on December 31st, someone bought my first copy, my daughter, <laughs> of course. And it was exciting. And, and the thing about it was that, you know, with my blog, I was trying to get some exposure, more people reading my blog. And I knew I needed to get into the media. So I was getting interviews. But man, once you write a book, the doors just fly open. Like I got, you know, accepted into a mastermind group, an amazing group of um, wonderful entrepreneurs that I met in LA and uh, just getting on better shows and getting more media. Like Western New York at work. Like Western New York at work. Like this show, (laughs) it just, it really becomes easier. And the power of a book, uh, it's it's just a really great way to get your foot in in the door, to get more media, um, build your email list, get more traffic, get more new clients or customers, you know, depending on your, your business. And, uh, and that's why I started helping um, entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs publish their first book to help build their brand, to um, help open more doors for them. Fantastic. Buffalo, you're watching Western New York at Work with Dale Martin. And today our guest, Irene Gableneck. Western New York at Work is brought to you by our key business partners and many business professionals. Bocce's Club Pizza, Staff Buffalo, Buffalo Healthy Living, CAI, Hope Buffalo, Embassy Suites, 716 Limousine. Get it. home a goodwill find you give your whole town a reason to celebrate because you're also funding local job training and placement programs in tech healthcare, and more goodwill bring good home hi sally with eat well buffalo just like you can't tell a book by its cover many times you can't judge a food item by looking at the front of the package. It will say things like heart healthy, wholesome, 
good for you, nutritious. The only way you can be a judge of that is by flipping it over and looking at the ingredient list and the label on the package. The ingredient list should have the fewest amount of ingredients as possible. And if there's ingredients that you wouldn't normally have in your kitchen, don't eat them in your food product. Uh, any kind of chemical, uh, dyes, anything like that is something, things to be aware of. When you're looking at the food label, look for the serving size, the number of calories, things like saturated fats, protein, fiber, and added sugars. Those are all really important. And as always, we would prefer to buy those fruits and veggies that don't have a label. So eat well, Buffalo. Bring it. I'm late to dinner. My mom's gonna kill me. Catch you guys later. Mom wants us home. Okay. Bye, guys. You guys need a ride? Sure. Oh, yeah. All right. Have us some one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I gotta go eat, man. Sorry. I'll, I'll see you later. Good morning and welcome to Western New York at Work. And today's guest is Leslie Taylor, the owner and creative director with the Buffalo Creative Group. Hello, Dale. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to see good, you again. <laughs> good to see you again as well. Yeah. Kind of wish the weather would kind of, uh, you know, get back to spring or summer-like weather, but... Uh, yeah. it, it's sunny, right? But not, not temperature-wise yet. We'll get there. <laughs> That's for certain. Yeah. So, Leslie, uh, again, thank you for being a part of today's show. And uh, I like this because we are going to have a creative conversation. And I think it starts with you sharing with us, how did it all, how did it all begin? Okay, well, first, just thanks very much for having me on today. Appreciate that. Um, so Buffalo Creative Group, um, this kind of came about has always been sort of a dream of mine to do. I have been designing my whole life, working as a designer, really went to college, got a degree and um, got a bachelor in fine arts, graphic design, um, worked at a bunch of different agencies and small businesses over my time, gaining experience. Um, and at a certain point, you know, when my, I had my family and I have three kids, so it's like, as soon as I got old enough and I kind of thought that it would be okay for me to try this dream I've always had, I kind of made a decision to kind of go out on my own and um, kind of built it up out of nothing actually and just tried my best. So yeah, it's been about maybe eight years at this point. Similar to many small business owners that are guess bitten by that uh, entrepreneurial bug to go out and take mm -hmm. the plunge. Uh, yeah. It's one of the most hardest things that one can do but it can also be the most rewarding right absolutely i would agree with that yes <laughs> okay so uh, the buffalo creative group is really comprised of three core areas could you describe the, uh, those core areas of the business yeah sure so well basically what our goal is is to help our clients you know, kind of um, build their, we're just building their brand through their online presence, through marketing materials. Um, so our kind of three areas are basically, you know, graphic design, logo design, branding, and then we do website creation and hosting. So there's websites. And then the third branch is, um, I spent a few years doing a lot of book design, actually, and working with publishers, self-published authors. So that's, in line with the design work. So it was a lot of book covers, interior design um, for the book world. It's like, I'm like their last stop before they get their book out into the world, uh, you know, and whether they're publishing themselves or working with a publisher. And for the individuals, you know, our viewers that are watching today's show and that are thinking, you know, they're sitting at home or they're in front of their computer and they wanna, you know, they wanna start the process. 
Uh, can you share with you know with our viewers, you know, how do you help you know how do you help those uh, those newbies get started? So I'm kind of the last stage after you've completed your manuscript, everything's edited, then you kind of want to start thinking about how are you going to market this thing? What's your goal for the book? Are you trying to sell it? Is it really just for family? You know, there's there's all kinds of different reasons people okay. write books. So I'm sort of the last stage. That last of, piece, that marketing promotional yeah. piece. Yeah, right, okay. exactly. Are there any particular clients that come to mind right now that uh, you just found that, you know, that <sighs> your work in working with them was just... It was just rewarding, you know. They they had exact. They knew exactly what they wanted to do, and you were help. You were able to help them cross the finish line. I guess what I'm thinking of right now, just a couple of clients I've recently working with, just finishing up projects for. The one is an author. He actually is a business owner. He asked me for help with um, kind of doing images for LinkedIn. He was he's like likes to write, so he wanted to start using LinkedIn as as a uh, platform for his business. But then he also, I just discovered working with him over the last couple of years, actually, that he loves to write poetry. Yeah, I think during the pandemic, he kind of got more into that and he wanted to expand that. And he wrote a book and had that published. And I helped him with um, promoting the book through creating a website for him and for the book. In your experience with working with websites, are there any tips or advice that you would give business owners, uh, especially uh, things that you, you may not like yourself? Um, I guess maybe make sure that it's working really properly on phones. I think it's really important. Uh, websites uh, over the years have evolved so that most of them are responsive, but um, I think that it's really important whenever we create a site that we're always checking how it's appearing on the phone. Like it might look fine on your computer or on a tablet, but as soon as you get that smaller, you know, phone version, you're wanting to make sure that that's looking right, working correctly, easy to navigate. I think the things for me that bother me most is a site that's too, no, I don't know, like confusing, hard to navigate, hard to find information easily. Sometimes people hide their contact information, which is a little so you know, you gotta make contact information things are always typically either on the footer or maybe you have it larger on the top. Um, you know, don't have too many hoops for people to jump through just to get your basic information or to see what you're about. Okay. And the one thing we haven't touched on yet is providing your contact information. Now for anyone that's looking to um either publish their first book and, and need that, that branding, that artistry, um, whether it be the cover or, or the logo, how can they reach you? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, easiest way to reach me would be um, just email, text, or call. So email would be Leslie at buffalocreativegroup.com. And uh, my phone number is 716-430-5982. That's just my personal style. You could just call and ask for me and I can help guide you with anything. If you just have a question, you're not really sure what you need, I'm happy to just talk to you. Um, if you want to just go and get information or see samples of my work, you know, I have a portfolio on my website. Um, for the, I actually have different portfolios. You, know, you can see design work, you can see logos, you can see website examples, and there's lots of book work to look at. So that's um, buffalocreativegroup.com. Well, you're watching Western New York at Work, and we're having a great conversation with Leslie Taylor, the owner and creative director with the Buffalo Creative Group. We're going to take a very short break, and when we come back, we're going to we're going to pick our brain again and some more to see what else is happening with the Buffalo Creative Group. Western New York at Work is brought to you by our key business partners and many business professionals. Bocce's Club Pizza, Staff Buffalo, Buffalo Healthy Living, CAI, Hope Buffalo, Embassy Suites, 716 Limousine. Connie Whitesell with Scatter to Streamline Business Coaching here for our Ask the Coach segment. 
Today I wanted to discuss recognizing and dealing with overwhelm. Last week a client came to me for advice on how to fit a number of projects into her already extremely busy work schedule. She's a financial advisor and she had a number of great ideas she wanted to act on to help develop new business, to help keep in better contact with her current clients. Uh, she had a lot of studying to do to obtain credentials that would allow her to do more in her field. It was a lot. And on top of her already busy schedule of client meetings and client support, not only that, in the previous two weeks, she had bought a new home and sold her current one. So the circumstances may not be exactly the same, but does this taking on of lots of new projects and having so much happening in your life feel familiar? Uh, as business owners, sure, we're driven. We want to do it all, and that's great. But it's not sustainable to be going at this breakneck speed all of the time. So when this client asked me how she should work her schedule to fit all of this in, I actually suggested that she shouldn't. Uh, as I knew she'd been going like this for months, I asked her to actually consider celebrating all that she'd accomplished over this time and give herself a break just for a week. Instead of filling every empty space on her calendar with one thing more, leave that time to replenish herself. I mean, you all know, right, how rejuvenating and re-energizing it feels to come back to work after a relaxing vacation or just some time away. Uh, she agreed, and while a week wasn't feasible, she shifted things around to have an extended four-day weekend, go to a local spa, enjoy dinner with her husband, get a babysitter, commit to not doing any work during that time and not taking on any more during that week. For you, if you're feeling overwhelmed and like a hamster on that wheel, where can you step away, even briefly, to replenish yourself? If you feel you could benefit from coaching support in your business or life, please feel free to reach out to me, Connie Whitesell, Scattered to Streamline Business Coaching. My website is scatteredtostreamline.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. It's really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. I know what you're thinking. I need a job. I need a new career. Well, I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. After high school, I didn't have a plan. I just wanted to start working. I got laid off twice. But you got to keep going. You just need the right skills. Find an apprenticeship. I found a two-year IT program. I found a medical course online. I'm now a consultant in the tech space. You have more options than you think. You can do this. You will find something. You will find something new. Welcome back to Western New York at Work. I'm your host, Dale Martin, and we're having a conversation with Leslie Taylor. She's the owner and creative director with the Buffalo Creative Group. So, Leslie, uh, before the break, you know, we touched upon web design. We talked about the, the book design, but we mm -hmm. haven't uh, addressed the, the graphic design portions of your business. Can you speak about those services? Sure. Um, graphic design is really a wide field. There's so many, you know, projects that might fall under this. So aside from um, branding help mainly, you know, logo design with the logo design, we can help you create a custom logo for you. We do a lot of um, sort of logo fix ups, you know, might, might have a logo that you like, but it's not really working exactly the way you wanted it or it's not exactly looking the way you want. Sometimes logos um, need to be recreated in a certain um, style or format in order for you to use it for something you want. Like say you have a logo, it's not really created in a correct, you know, like the vector format that you need to maybe make something large for a billboard or for like maybe on a t-shirt or promotional items. So we can help you with that, adjust your logo for anything that you need. So aside from logo design, um, I'll just sort of list off other typical projects we might do, uh, you know, business cards, letterheads, you know, marketing materials like that for your business, brochures, um, simple logo animations. We do print ads, posters, flyers, postcards, 
direct mailers. Um, we do anything like um, restaurant menus, newsletters, trade show materials, um, emails, newsletters, email blasts, things like that, digital ads, web banners, anything okay. like that that would need to be designed. When a client approaches you for creating a, a logo, can you describe your process? I do a lot of research. Uh, that's just how I work. I don't know how other people, I think a lot of people do sketches or doodles. You know, I mean, sometimes as appropriate at this point, I, I do better just literally doing a lot of research and Google searching and trying to find other people in their same area of expertise. What other people's logos sort of, what's the vibe? What are they looking like? You know, what are more current modern lo logos in their area kind of looking like, feeling like, um, trying to marry that with what they're, with what the client is giving me, you know, as far as what they're looking for, maybe they have certain colors they love, maybe there is a font they love, or maybe there's a symbol they want in there. You know, all those things have to be taken into consideration. Um, but yeah, I guess just a lot of, a lot of research before I even start doing, um, like layouts or, or sketches or, you know, I, I do sketch digitally, but you know, it's the same idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like there's something for everyone. It just comes down to what that mm -hmm. business owner, he or she decides what's, uh, what their vision is. Sure. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. And, and so that one-on-one -on -one consultation, I guess, is uh, very important because sometimes an individual may not know what they want and you help them get a, a better grasp of it. Right, exactly. And that's what I'm here for, you know, that's what initial phone call consultations for. We'll have a little conversation first, try to understand what your goal is, what you're trying to get out of it. And if you're really lost, then, you know, I'll just offer to give you, I usually do, if it's especially for logo design or something like that, I'll, you know, I always give options. I'll try to steer them in the best direction. I think that they should be going in for what they're trying to achieve. Um, so it's a lot of back and forth. I'm always in contact with the client, you know, I'll always um, ask for your opinion, your input as I go forward to make sure you're getting the best result. Okay. And once again, your contact information would be? Buffalocreativegroup.com is the website. Email is leslie at buffalocreativegroup.com. So it's L-E-S-L-I-E. -E. And uh, you could call me anytime or text. My phone number is 716-430-5982. Well, once again, thank you so much for being a part of today's show, and you have a great remainder to your day. Oh, you too. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. Have a great day. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Western New York at Work is brought to you by our key business partners and many business professionals. Bocce's Club Pizza, Staff Buffalo, Buffalo Healthy Living, CAI, Hope Buffalo, Embassy Suites, 716 Limousine.